I want to thank each one of you for investing your time and your money to come here today to let me talk about my favorite subject, which is the writing, publishing, and promoting of your book. And I'm going to do my very best to see that your money is well invested. I love publishing. I've been in this game for a long time, and publishing's a wonderful business. Publishers tend to be, oh, I love it when people nod their heads. Publishers tend to be helpful, friendly, and supportive. We, um, it's just a, a wonderful group of people. Let me give you an example. A.D. Kessler, your book here, A Fortune at Your Feet. Now, that doesn't compete with my book, The Skydiver's Handbook, does it? Not a bit. It's hard to read while you're skydiving. Right. And so we don't feel threatened. And so we can be friends. Absolutely. And so this is why when publishers get together, we help each other. We're constantly pumping each other up. I just saw so-and-so and sold some foreign rights. You ought to go see her. And then you run off and you do the same thing. It's a wonderful business. I don't think that you find any other business like publishing. We have a lot of material to cover today. And um, we do have a handout for this presentation. I'm just going to go through this handout to show you what we have. Now, some people like to take notes on the handout. Some people just like to know where we're going. And a few of you are going to sit back, fold your arms, and say, I don't take notes. I'm going to buy the book when it's over. We encourage that selection, too. <laughs> now, this is your recipe for success. Let me show you what we have here. We do have an outline, so you know where we're going. And when you get to page six, it says for more information. There we have some valuable resources. So you don't have to raise your hand and ask me for the telephone number of the Publishers Marketing Association. Next, we have a picture of my website. Uh, we have over 450 pages of valuable resources to help you with your writing and production and book promotion. And that's at www.parapublishing.com. We have here uh, a news release that worked very, very well for us, this boot camp uh, for publishers. And we're going to be talking about the next page here where it says title, your book cover outline. We're going to be talking about that and explaining it. That's the one that has title right in the middle. We have your book publishing calendar. And by the way, for those who are watching the tape, if you want to call my company, we'll send you one of these handouts. That's at uh, Para Publishing, which is 800 Para Pub, P-A-R-A-P-U-B. Here we have a copy of my latest newsletter, Publishing Pointers. And here we have book publishing and promotion documents from Para Publishing. These are documents that you can get free through your fax machine or from our website. And then we have instant reports from Para Publishing. Uh, again, these are documents you can get from your fax machine or from our website. Something on merchant status and a list of suppliers that we recommend. You'll also notice in your handout that you've got two yellow sheets. Those are the evaluations and questionnaires. And yes, you each got two of them. And the reason that you got two is I know some of you people are going to keep one of them. And if you keep one, then I won't get one back. So I've given you two. Now, there's a box at the bottom. If you want to put your name and address in that box at the bottom, I'll see that you get our newsletter and a lot of other inf interesting information on publishing. OK, I'd like to know um, who we have here and what stage you're in. I'd like to know if you're in the thinking stage on your book, the planning stage, the production stage, or maybe the promotion stage, because your book is already out. And some of you are working on more than one project, and some of you are going to raise your hand more than once. So how many of us are in the thinking and planning stage on our book? Okay, looks like about 40%. How many are in the writing stage on our book? Uh-huh, and that's about uh, 25%. Uh, now, does anybody have their manuscript finished and we're ready to go to press? We're setting type, we're going to press. And we have a, okay, well, we do have a few there. And now, how many have a book finished and we're working on the promotion stage, marketing promotion? And we have a few there. Very, very good. Oh, and how many of you <laughs> won't raise your hand no matter what I ask? Yeah, okay. We got a couple of honest ones there. My system works. In the back of the self-publishing manual, I say, when you finally get your book out, please send me a copy, autographed, of course. And I get 15 to 20 books every week. 
Now, I remember reading some time ago that on average, when people buy a book, they don't get past page 18. You know how it is? They buy the book, they bring it home, they start to read it, it goes on the bedside table, and then they never get back to it. But I know that people are buying the book, they're reading the book, they're highlighting it, they're underlining it, they're following through, they're writing their book, they're getting their book out because they send me 15 to 20 every week. And I just want to give you a little encouragement because I know this system works. It's working for thousands and thousands of others, and it will work for you too. You have the ingredients. This book is your recipe. You have all the ingredients to be successful published authors. Today, I'm going to work on your recipe. So how does this go? Hello, my name is Dan, and I'm going to be your chef for this session. Today, we're going to be talking about cooking. We're not going to be talking about cookbooks, and we're not going to be talking about cooking the books. But I'm going to provide you with a recipe for the writing and publishing and promoting of your book, because I sincerely believe that all you need to become successful published authors is to take anything that you've done so far, any work that you've done so far, and put it into our mixing bowl. And then we're going to take a little bit of uh, research. We're going to mix in a tablespoon of uh, energy, a teaspoon of organization, a dash of Discipline, a trace. How big is a trace? Smaller than a dash, isn't it? A trace of time. Of course, this is T-I-M-E time. And we're going to mix your ingredients together with my recipe. And soon you will savor the accolades that only come to the published author. You have the ingredients. You have the years and years of experience. I have the recipe, and I'm going to share that recipe with you. OK, let's go over the reasons to write a book. You might be writing your book for fame, for fortune, to help other people, because you have a sense of personal mission. I think it helps if we focus on and justify why we're doing this. So let's start off with fame, or recognition, or credibility. It's a funny thing about a book. But a book will bring you more credibility than anything else you do. You can spend the same amount of time on an audio tape, a videotape, a seminar, uh, a screenplay. And all of those are wonderful. But nothing will give you the credibility that a book will. People think if you wrote a book, you know something. And you probably do, because think about this. When you're writing a book, you're doing a lot of research. You're reading every book that's ever been written on the subject. You're reading every magazine article. You're interviewing the right people. You're taking all that information. You're directing it toward a specific person. You're illustrating it with your own experiences. And when you think about it, you're giving yourself an advanced degree in your subject. People think you know something, and you probably do. Let me give you an example. I spend a lot of time serving as an expert witness in parachute cases. Now, I'm not an engineer. I'm not an attorney. But I've written seven books on parachutes. Technical books on parachutes, like this one, and popular books on skydiving, like this one. And these books give me the credibility to be hired and the credibility to be believed. So I spend a lot of time educating attorneys and then going into court and educating judges and juries. You, too, can get the credibility and recognition. You have the ingredients. Now we're working on your recipe. Your book also provides you with a new profit center. There is money in books. A book is always working for you. It's passive income. It, um, it's working for you and bringing in money when you don't go to work. 